In this video, I'm going to talk about temperature units, what is their difference and how we can convert it to another one. First, I'm going to start with Celsius. Celsius that you can see with the green color at the middle. For the Celsius units, freezing point for water is 0 Celsius and boiling point for water is 100 Celsius. So between freezing point and boiling point of water, there is 100 degree. That we can see it here. Celsius is more common rather than Fahrenheit or Kelvin. It's mostly used in the textbooks for chemistry and physics. But Celsius is not SI unit for the temperature. The SI unit for temperature is Kelvin. I show it by the yellow color here. As you can see, the freezing point of water in Kelvin units is 273.15 and boiling point of water is 373.15. Again, between freezing point and boiling point of water, there is 100 degree. So when we compare Celsius and Kelvin together, we can see the value or the size of the degree for Celsius and for Kelvin, it's identical. Zero for Kelvin, is absolute zero it means there isn't any temperature lower than zero kelvin that's the coldest temperature we can reach in the universe so converting celsius and kelvin together is very easy if you want to calculate kelvin we just need to add 273.15 to the celsius temperature in most of the calculation and question we ignore also this 0.15 because it's not a big deal so let's have a couple of examples here. I would like to convert 25 Celsius to Kelvin. So the answer is 25 plus 273 is 298 Kelvin. And keep in mind always, for Kelvin, we don't use the degree sign. Let's have more example. 127 Celsius. I would like to convert it to the Kelvin. So the Kelvin temperature is 127 plus 273. The answer is 400 Kelvin. If you want to calculate Celsius from Kelvin, we have the similar equation. Celsius is equals to Kelvin minus 273.15. Let's say I would like to convert 0 Kelvin to Celsius temperature to see what is the absolute zero in Celsius scale. So Celsius is equals to 0 minus 273.15. So the answer is negative 273.15 Celsius. That's the lowest temperature that we can reach in the universe. Converting Kelvin to Celsius or Celsius to Kelvin is easy. But let's see how we can have this kind of calculation for Fahrenheit. For Fahrenheit, the size or the value of the degree is different. As you can see here, freezing point for water is 32 and boiling point is 212. The difference between boiling point and freezing point is 180 degree. So we are not able to just add some number to the Fahrenheit and convert it to the Celsius or the opposite. So the equation is a little different. If we would like to convert Celsius to Fahrenheit, we need to use this equation. Fahrenheit is equals to 9 over 5 times Celsius plus 32. And for converting Celsius to Fahrenheit, we can just rewrite these equations in this form. Let's have some example. I would like to convert 25 Celsius to Fahrenheit. So Fahrenheit is equals to 9 over 5 times 25 plus 32. 5 and 25, we can simplify it. Then 9 times 5 is 45 for parentheses plus 32. The answer will be 77 Fahrenheit. Let's have more example. 
let convert 100 celsius to fahrenheit and negative 20 celsius to fahrenheit for the first one fahrenheit is equals to 9 over 5 times 100 plus 32 the answer for this part is 180 180 plus 32 is 212 that is the boiling point for water for negative 20 celsius again we have 9 over 5 times negative 20 plus 32 the answer for this part is negative 36 plus 32 is equals to negative 4 fahrenheit Let's have two examples for converting Fahrenheit to Celsius. So I would like to convert 36 Fahrenheit to Celsius and also 0 Fahrenheit to Celsius. For converting Celsius to Fahrenheit, I'm going to use this equation. 5 over 9 times degree in Fahrenheit units minus 32. Then Celsius is equal to 5 over 9 times 36 minus 32 the answer for this part is 4 then is equals to 20 over 9 or 2.22 celsius for converting 0 fahrenheit to celsius we use again the same equations 0 celsius is equals to 5 over 9 times 0 minus 32 so 0 minus 32 it means negative 32 so the answer is 5 times negative 32 over 9 and answer is negative 17.78 celsius there is only one temperature that celsius and fahrenheit they are equal they have same numbers i would like to calculate that uh, numbers too let's say i have this equation here also we know the celsius and fahrenheit units for that temperature is equal so instead of celsius or fahrenheit in this equation i can replace the other one let's say i would like to put the celsius it really doesn't matter so celsius is equals to 5 over 9 then instead of fahrenheit here i can use celsius celsius minus 32 then i need to rewrite this equation if i multiply 9 to the two side of this equation this 9 and this 9 they cancel each other then we have 9 celsius is equals to 5 times celsius minus 32 then i need to multiply 5 to the whole parentheses so 9 celsius is equals to 5 times celsius is 5 celsius minus 5 times 32 is 160 then i rewrite this equation is equals to 9 celsius minus 5 celsius is equals to negative 160 then 9 minus 5 is 4 of celsius is equals to negative 160 then that temperature is negative 160 over 4 or negative 40 celsius so negative 40 celsius is equals to negative 40 fahrenheit so there is only one temperature these two units they have same number if we want to convert fahrenheit to kelvin and kelvin to fahrenheit we can make some equations but I really don't recommend it. It's better always to use Celsius between Fahrenheit and Kelvin. It means if we have Kelvin, we can convert it to Celsius first, then use this equation to convert it to Fahrenheit. If we have Fahrenheit and we want to convert it to the Kelvin, first we convert Fahrenheit to Celsius from this equation and then convert Celsius to the Kelvin. It is easier to calculate from this way. Thank you for watching this video. For watching more video, please subscribe our YouTube channel.